I'm Jordan Sandoval. I'm a Belfouche pole vaulter. Uh, last week in regions, it, it was really windy. It was crazy. It was really hard to pole vault, but I ended up clearing a height, you know. Not a lot of people did that down there, so I'm pretty proud of myself. In state, I barely made it. Uh, I was right on the edge, but down in state, I'm hoping to get opening height, maybe clear a couple heights if we're lucky, and I'm just going to go and do my best down there. We're visiting with Brittany Clarkson, the Belfry's Bronx long distance runners coach. Last week was Regions. Yeah, we went down to um, Rapid City Christians for Regions last week. Didn't have a very nice day. Um, we had a few kids on my distance teams that wanted to improve their time that day, and we had 50 mile an hour wind gusts and didn't quite get to improve our times, but still did a heck of a performance in, in spite the wind. Um, my boys four by eight team, they won down there, and so that was that was good for them. Um, the girls four by eight team, they were the ones that were trying so hard to improve to get their time. I think they were sitting 25th at the time, and we just, I mean, their race started at nine, and that's when the wind just started going. Um, bless their hearts, though. Those girls are great. Um, that would be Shane Weishire, um, Lily Nori, Aisha Hockenberry, and Ava Allen, and Kyra um, Vandenberg helped us out that day um, sitting in for Shane. But um, the girls all year have bettered their time, and so that was, they were really looking forward to that. So we have unfinished business next year with that team. Then as far as the rest of the day went, um, I think I had Nick Lambert run the 800 and had a season best. Um, Zach Tonsager, he ran the mile and had his first mile. Um, and so he PR'd there this year, I guess season best. Um, so looking for next week, we head into state and my boys four right team made it in. So that's Nick Lambert, Aiden Boyles, Harley Rivera, and Sawyer Clarkson. So I have those boys going to state, which I'm super excited for. Um, and then I have three individual runners, which would be Sawyer Clarkson. He qualified in the two mile, the mile, the open eight, the four by eight, and the medley. Um, he'll only run three there. He's only gonna run the, the two, the one, and the medley, I believe. He didn't run conference or regions. He kind of tweaked his back at Howard Wood. So he hasn't ran very much. He's just started running again five days ago. So he's gonna head into state. He's ranked number one in the two mile and number two in the one mile. The boys medley is, is like, I think ranked fourth there and he runs the 800 portion of that. And that's a great group of boys that are gonna be down at state. Um, and then I have two seventh graders that came up this year and they both qualified for state um, in the two mile. And that would be Kyra Vandenberg and Lennon Clarkson. They are both running the two mile individually down at state and so that's really great too. All right coach good luck in Sioux Falls. Yeah thanks so much. Coach Slice uh, coming off the region meet uh, had a pretty decent showing um, on the jump side so let's Aiden Giffen uh, ended up uh, winning um, the long jump and we set a uh, region record too uh, which was awesome 22 feet one and a quarter inch, I believe, is what it was. So that was cool to uh, snag up yet another record. Um, and then uh, on the uh, girls' side on long jump, we actually uh, swept one, two, three. So that was pretty cool. Matea Ward led the way um, there with Dylan Stadilly and uh, Caitlin Lee. So that was good. Uh, Matea Ward ended up winning the triple jump as well and setting a new PR to high 34. Um, so she was a double winner, which is good. And we just kind of keep building momentum now coming into the state meet. So um, yeah, we, uh, we're gonna have a very short week. We're gonna hit the road on Wednesday and uh, try to get out there, um, stop in Mitchell, get a practice. And then it's gonna be a long three day meet. And uh, uh, we, uh, boys long jumps the very last day um, I got to check the schedule again for the girls triple and boys triple, but we, we got three going. Nolan Wafelt's going for triple jump, and then Matea Ward's going for long and uh, triple jump, and Aiden Giffen, long jump. So we're going to try to uh, get out there, hit some big jumps, set some PRs, try to make the finals, try to get on the podium, and uh, Aiden Giffen, we're going we're gonna to go, go after a state championship. So we've been eyeing this one, not just at the beginning of the year, but last year too. So... Um, no hamstring issues this year with Aiden, and uh, hopefully that holds, and he holds strong through the third day, and then we'll go get it. We're in the end game now, my favorite time of year.
I'm Mike Ryan. I'm the Belfouche High School pole vault coach. We just got done uh, finishing up Regions track meet. And for me in particular, it was not a good day. Um, I don't know if it makes much sense to anybody else, but once you leave the ground uh, and it's 30, 40 mile an hour winds, it's not a very good situation. So we around around the, the team on, on my side of things did not have a, a very great day, but uh, that being said, we had great track meets leading up to, and so we still got four athletes qualified for state, which is this upcoming weekend. Um, both boys and girls vault on Friday. Uh, I've got one girl, Sloan Young. Um, she's This is her second time vaulting for me and second time going to state, so I'm sure she's super excited about it. And then I increased my number of boys this year from one last year to three this year. Uh, Lane Longbreak is the returning state qualifier. And then we got uh, Logan Tyndall and Jordan Sandoval joining us as well, vaulting Friday evening. Uh, and both of, those, both of those new guys are super excited. Things are coming together nicely. They're looking really good. Uh, I don't think we've peaked yet. I think we're set up for, for doing some pretty good stuff, knock on wood. Uh, and then Lane, this being his second time there, hopefully last year we got some got some nerves ironed out, and he should be ready to perform this year. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. it. Should be a good weekend. Hello, I'm Coach Haxton. I'm the throws coach here at Belfouche High School. At Regions, we had a really good day. Uh, we actually took more medals at Regions than we have in the last several years. So Lucas Green, one of our throwers, he took sixth in discus and sixth in shot put. Um, Gunnar Geib took third in discus and he took fifth in shot put. Shelby took sixth in discus. We had several other people that made it to finals, but they didn't end up meddling. And so it was all around, it was a really cool day because all these guys that have been putting in all this work, all these girls have been putting in all this work, finally got to see fruition and their goals were starting to be achieved. And the, the PRs, some of these people, Lucas, I think PR'd by 10 feet, 15 feet. And so that was really kind of cool. At the end of the year, it's nice to see all these people achieve the goals that they've had set for themselves. Gunnar Geib is gonna go to state for discus. He was 23rd out of the 24 in the state. And so he is going to go and try to better his record that he had for the year. And hopefully he'll do a good enough job that maybe he will make it to finals and maybe he'll place. Visiting with Bill Abel, the Barrel Fush Bronx head track and field coach, and last week had the region meet down in Rapid City. You bet. Uh, you know, went back out to Sioux Falls Christian. Uh, we did not have the most favorable conditions. Actually caught all elements that day. Had a little bit of sunshine, not much. Uh, very early, and the flag was actually down. And then at about oh, 9 30, 10 o'clock, the wind picked up, and we had pretty much 30 mile an hour winds for the most of the day. Uh, we got a little rain, got a little sleet, pretty much caught all four seasons. Um, still, you know, Aiden Giffen walks away with a, uh, uh, a region meet record in the 100 and the long jump. Um, had a couple, you know, a couple firsts, a couple good performances. Uh, it, was, it was a rough week for us, though, even though we weren't competing against some of these kids. Uh, going into regions, we had our girls 4x8 was the only relay that was on the bubble at that time. Um, and then once all the times got turned in from the, the week, boys 4x4, our girls medley, and our girls 4x4 uh, were all sitting about 18th. And then after last week, we, we lost all of them. So we ended up, the boys ended up in 25th place. You only take top 24. And the girls, uh, four by eight medley and four by four kind of faded away. So um, it's kind of, that was, that was a rough one. I guess maybe they had some better weather. Maybe they loaded them up and we didn't, I don't know. So that was, that was kind of devastating for me. But, you know, another one I forget to talk about is Drew Keegan. Uh, she popped uh, like a 12-8. And each, each time she's running, yeah, there's a little wind in her back. But both times, every time she's competing with, um, the best in the state, and she's getting faster and faster each time. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how this, this next week turns out. And, Coach, how about your athletes going to state this weekend? Uh, as of right now, I believe we have 26 that are going to be going with us. Um, again, we, we covered a, quite a few of the relays. Uh, you know, Aiden Giffen's covering four individual events. Sawyer Clarkson's covering two. Um, we had L Little Lennon Clarkson. 
he's he's got one individual on the um, Gunner Gibbs going to be throwing um, disc, and then we got three vaulters in, uh, which I'm sure the coaches will talk about that. Uh, and on the girls' side, you know, individually, you got Mateo Ward and Long and Triple. We have uh, um, Drew Keegan's running the um, the hundred. Then we have a, a, a little Kyra Vandenberg, collar squirrel. Uh, if you ever interview, you know why. Uh, but anyways, uh, she's in the 3200. So it's uh, pretty prepped up. We're we're got every, all the wheels are in motion. We're ready to go, and hopefully it'll be a good state meet. All right, Coach, uh, thanks, and good luck in Sioux Falls. You bet. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it.